I'm going to show you how you can host other Twitch channels so you don't have to have an offline screen uh, when you are offline from Twitch all the time. So leave a like if anything helps and let's get into the video. You want to start out at your creator dashboard on a Twitch. So there are two different ways of hosting a channel. The first one is by manually hosting a channel and the second one is by auto hosting. So auto hosting means so you whenever you go offline from twitch a, a channel that is online from your auto host list will be uh, hosted on your channel and then manually is pretty self-explanatory you host a channel manually and it will be hosted j just for this single time to host a channel manually you want to go to your stream manager on your dashboard and when you are over here uh, you want to make sure that you have the twitch uh, quick actions uh, pop up if it is not there or if it is minimized you either drag it out to you know make it visible um, but if your quick actions page is not there at all you maybe have accidentally removed it or something you want to go to your right here uh, to the plus like the plus icon over here it will drag out to this page and you want to locate quick actions and press on the plus button here but say you have your quick actions then you want to click on the plus button add a new quick action go to the grow your community section and then locate host channel you want to add this, press on add, and then you should have a box saying host a channel. Uh, now when you click on it, you can simply put, uh, right, type in the channel that you want to host this one time. Say so I want to host a channel named, um, yeah, this, this channel I want to host, then I click on it and then press on host. Now, but if you want to host channels without you needing to do it manually, auto hosting basically, you want to look at the settings section over here this will drop down this page and then channel and then you want to go to the featured content tab and here you should see auto hosting basically you want to uh, enable this auto host channels so if you have this disabled it kind of loses its purpose with auto hosting but and then to add your channels that you want to auto host whenever you go offline and that they are online you will host them automatically you don't need to do a thing uh, go to your auto host list and then search for the channels that you want to add to your auto host list. Say I want to um, have Ninja as an auto host, then I search for Ninja and click on add. And then maybe also, I don't know, Tifu. All right, then we click on add. And now I have Ninja and Tifu as my auto host uh, channels. And also, of course, this is the place to go to if you want to remove any. Uh, auto hosted channels. There is also this auto host priority. Now uh, the best option to choose here is display channels in, in an order personalized to each viewer. So basically Twitch displays channels that you have on your auto host list based on what uh, every person watches. You don't need to bother having uh, the second option. Just, just be sure that it is personalized to each viewer. On your channel page, if you want to basically suggest the streamers that are on your auto host page, like I have right here, Ninja and Tfue are su suggested uh, streamers, then you do so by going to the same page, featured content on the channel section of the uh, dashboard, scroll down to my streamer shelf, and select auto host list then click on save if you want to see more tutorials like this be sure to subscribe with the bell notifications on because i make content like this all the time and uh with that said thank you for watching leave questions in the comment section down below and uh see you in the next video starix uh, out